biggest features of Google Sheets is the ability to share and collaborate on a spreadsheet with other people easily. But if you have sensitive data, you can restrict other people from editing it. Today, I want to show you how to protect cells, ranges, and sheets. Before begin, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to notify new videos and updates. Okay, let's go. Let's start with protecting a range. Here I have a salary sheet and I want to protect these cells with salary data. So I select the range. Now right mouse click and choose view more cell actions and then protect range. Another way to access the protect option is the data tab, then protect sheets and ranges. When you choose the protect range, this pad will open for you. You can add a description. I leave it empty now. Now on the range tab, you can choose your range. Click on this icon and select your range. When you choose your range, click on OK. Now go ahead and select set permissions. This window will open for you. If you want to show a warning when anyone makes an edit, select show a warning when editing this range. It doesn't restrict others from editing, but they see a message asking them to confirm if they really want to make an edit and change the data set. But if you want to restrict others from editing, choose restrict who can edit the range. If you click on the little drop down arrow, there are two options. By the first one, only you can edit the range. By custom, you can add the name or email of the editors. You can also copy the permission from another range too. I select only me. Okay, now only me can edit the range. For unprotecting the ranges, go to the data tab and protect sheets and ranges. In this pan, choose the protected cell and click on the bin icon. The pop-up warning is displayed. Click remove to confirm. As you can see, the protection is deleted. Now, let's see how to protect a cell. Here I have a formula and when nobody could change it except me. So, I click on the cell, right mouse click, and I choose view more cell actions, and then protect range. Or on the data tab, protect sheets and ranges. Again, in this pan, I can add a description and choose the cell and set permissions. OK, I choose only me. Now go ahead and select done. My cell is protected. OK, for deleting the protection, again go to data tab and protect sheets and ranges. In this pan, choose the protected cell and click on the bean icon. Now click on remove to confirm it. You can also protect the whole sheet in this way. Choose the sheet, right mouse click, and choose protect sheet. Okay, again set the permission. Here I want to add an email. Now go ahead and select done. Now my sheet is protected. Alright, my tutorial finished and you learned how to protect cells, ranges, and sheets. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will answer all of them. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.